Thank you everyone for joining me together with uh, Mr. Samson O oh, as well as Jeff Ko on our second edition of A Future Beyond Grades. Perhaps uh, Samson, you'd like to give everyone a wave? Bye. Thanks for having me. <laughs> and Jeff? I'm Jeff. Hi, wonderful. Thank you, uh, Samson, as well as Jeff, for joining us. And I think we've got many parents online with us here today. Um, as many of you may know, today's uh, Chit Chat with Samson and Jeff is an initiative of Compass. Compass basically was formed many, many years ago, and it is an initiative to bring our community of parents to work closely with schools. So Compass, C-O-M-P-A-S-S, means community and parents in support of schools. And under Compass, we have identified key areas that we think our parents will be interested in because they're very concerned about the development and well-being of their children. Uh, so the three focus areas for Compass uh, for this term, 2021 and 2022, has been around youth mental well-being, uh, around cyber wellness, uh, as well as how we think and define success. And it's really on this track about how do we think and define success that we have with us tonight, Mr. Samson O, oh, as well as Jeff. Now, a brief descri description of uh, Samson before we go into the questions proper. Samson is the CEO of the global esports media company named Gosu Gamers. Now, Gosu Gamers has been one of the most recognized brands in the esports world since 2002. Jeff is a mechanical technology lecturer at ITE. Actually, actually, when it comes to education, I don't have a lot of things to shout about. Even when it comes to my, when I was a kid, the place where I grew up with, I grew up in a place called Jalan Holi. And it's right smack in Bukit Mitang in KL before I converted to become a Singaporean by any time. So, I always remember growing up very poor. And my parents always say that you're very poor, right? We are very poor, we don't have money. And sometimes we ask ourselves, that is the, that was my reality back then, right? But nevertheless, we still go through the motion, we study, but we don't mix with the right people, right? And results wasn't great, but we get by. Lah. So we get a job. I wasn't happy, even though I got a quite a good job in an MNC, big MNC American firm. But there's something in me that I'm always not happy, right? I felt uh, we are all special in our own ways and we want to do big things. So what happened was, I remember in 2015, I went to my sister's house, right? And I saw my nephew back then was about their teens, right? And my brother-in-law back then was mid-40s. They were all playing games at home. I walked in, I saw them playing games. I don't know my sister. Why are they always playing games, right? Even though I love to play games. But still said, this is the only way for the father to talk to the kids, right? And then and then and and then when I saw the TV, nobody watched TV, right? And that was in 2015. I went out shower, I came down, and I thought the TV was switched off, but the kids were watching YouTube, talking about games. From then on, I saw a lot of problems. The media is dead. And I also felt a sense where when these kids grow up, what are they going to do, right? That question implanted in me. And of course, along the journey, um, I have a lot of parents coming to me say that my kids love to play games. What should we do? We don't know how to engage with our kids. Of course, along the line with that planted in me, I, I, I started um, eSports and gaming stuff. So I started with the eSports team. I saw gamers who love to play games, cannot study, cannot make money. I hired them. Some of them became world champions. They start, we started to bring in the money, sponsorship. Some of them started to make a lot of money. And, and from then on, I started to build other companies. And now I really build an ecosystem around Southeast Asia and, and grew to quite a very large size where I'm, I, I'm just glad that I'm able to provide a platform for people who love alternative path where people say play games cannot make money and always a lot of parents came to me and said playing games cannot make money but now the parents said how can I bring my kids to this path 
So that's how I started the whole thing actually, my son. We have an opportunity as parents to shape what children think about themselves. Parents shouldn't also think that if the child, for example, does well academically, and if we keep praising the child, like, ah, you're so smart, you're so smart, you are uh, a genius, you know, that kind of thing, or you're gifted and whatsoever, it also may not work to the child's advantage, even if the child has a lot of confidence or self-esteem and young. Because if we tie personal definitions of success to just academic grades, which is what children know because this is basically their life at this point in time, at this age really is about school, right? Um, then they go in, they go into, they, they, they grow older, they may potentially go into adulthood thinking that adult life and working life should be an extension of their so-called success when they were younger, when they were studying. So regardless, whether or not it is students who have done well academically, or students who haven't done quite so well, like Jack, your personal experience, if we tie personal definitions of success only to academic achievements, right? We really risk putting our children at risk because they may go into adulthood thinking that that is how they define themselves. And they may think that how they do as when they grow older and in the workplace is also tied to how they did or they felt they were like when they were younger. When it comes to this, I think you mentioned about the lady that talks about the results. And yes. I have a sister who is very smart. And I can't help it but to always compare. But nevertheless, there was this incident that happened to me. That totally changes my life 180 oh. degrees. Um, that was when, 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 when I got into that big MNC firm I told you about. I was so yes. down. Despite I got the good money, I got into a big American company, my parents would be proud. But nevertheless, I wasn't happy, I felt I'm not contributing. Someone came to me and offered me a book. The book is called Awaken the Giant. And I don't like reading books. But somehow I said I was I am so down that time. I said why don't I give it a chance? Right? The book was really thick by Anthony Robbins. I think the main message of the book towards the end, it is just one sentence, is our life has a lot of options. Sometimes, because of our path, we think that we only have one option. But actually, when you open up perspective, when you mix the with the right people, when you are when you live in the right environment, suddenly you feel a lot of things. And in life, you have a lot of options. You just need to make the right decisions, and it will come. And and I and, and I start to I, I I became very positive. I really feel like the giant in me was awakened and I can do anything I want to do. So that, that was the main message of the book. So for myself, I, I feel that uh, we have to like the, the, the job, uh, even the course that we are, uh, are taking. So for me, engineering, like I say, uh, I have no idea what engineering is about when I first took up engineering. So I, I just urge all parents to be more patient, uh, patient and also persevere in helping your child to find the meaning in the course that uh, he's currently in. Mm. Hopefully, uh, with that, they, they, once they found the meaning, they can find some passion in it. Education is an insurance. So I'm not saying that uh, you can't explore your interests, but don't neglect the school curriculum. Because I'm a teacher, yes. I, I, then I, I have to tell my student uh, such thing as well. For me, this is what I'm telling myself seeing young until now, right? All the time. And I always share this to all the youth that I, that I talk to. We need to continue to discover ourselves, no matter about age. Even when you finish your youth, or whatever it is, you continue to learn. Education never stops. But the education is to help you to identify yourself, your strength. Identify that button in you. Once that mm -hmm. find that button, eventually you will find that calling or that dreams that you have. That will ignite the fire in you. Once that fire is ignited, you are no longer working, you are living your life. 
And that is why I'm living my life mm. and I'm trying to help the generation to identify themselves and really ignite that fire. Without that fire, you will become unhappy. If you want to be happy, passionate, mm. just don't give up. Just keep looking, no matter what age. Okay, even for people mm. who are 60 years old, just do it. Keep dreaming. I think that is my message for myself. But I think it's, it can be applied to everyone else as well. I mean, for me, right, uh, the good grace actually do does play a part in my success. But it uh, doesn't mean that uh, achieving good grades is uh, critical to success. There are so many students that I've taught over the last 10 years. I have seen uh, students that have very positive attitude towards their, their course or their job, uh, gain recognition and get promoted in their career. So recently I met uh, one of my student, one of the students from IT. He is now working for a big company and under him there are 72 technicians report under him. I'm proud of him. And I think that he's happy and he also deemed himself successful. So I, uh, I mean, in the chat, uh, he told me that most importantly is that uh, you have to like your job. So he's, uh, he, he's once an IT student. So with that, he actually find his meanings on uh, going to work every day. And um, yeah, with that actually helps him to be positive as well. Uh, I mean, as you mentioned, Greeks is important, and I, I find that uh, it is the ideal case uh, to have Greeks, uh, which is a uh, passionate and perseverance. But uh, sometimes having passion in the course uh, or work that you are doing, right? Some some student may not have a chance to find passion, so they may be dragging their themselves coming to school. And um, actually, a lot of uh, students that come into mechanical technology. This is not their first choice, first choice of course. So I, I, w- I would like to let ask them to think about patient, uh, just pace, patient and also look, keep looking for for the meaning in the work that they do. Even engineering is a mm. is a professional as well, a professional job as well. So don't keep thinking about uh, engineering is a uh, is very difficult and this uh, it is something that is logical if they are. The, I always keep telling them that the effort is always proportional to their result. It's always proportional. Mm. Whatever effort you put in, you get the result. So uh, to take away, I think, uh, besides having pa- passion, uh, they have to be patient and also persevere. Mm. I think at this point, I'm going to call upon a young lady, Elizabeth, who is a third year student at Nanyang Polytechnic. And um, she chose nursing uh, due to her interest and also she found great joy and motivation to continuously upskill herself to do better. Yes, we have here with us Elizabeth. Elizabeth, hi. Hi, hi Kristen. I'm Elizabeth. Hello, hi. wonderful, wonderful Elizabeth. Yeah, sure. So um, I can join nursing was really inspired when I was accompanying my great grandmother in and out of hospital. So I would really see how the nurses would go the extra mile to care for her and really show so much selflessness. And they went on to really care for her beyond what they needed to. And they even took the time out of their busy schedule to teach me uh, how I could take care of my great grandmother after she was discharged. And this mm. selflessness and how much love we had for the patients and the people, I think that was what truly inspired me. And um, my aunt, she's a nurse. So since young, I've been hearing her sharing about all her inspirational nursing stories. And I think really hearing um, all the stories and seeing firsthand of, about what nursing is, I think that has really inspired me and uh, really showed me that nursing is my calling. And I really want to pursue this path and yeah. Nursing is my passion. Yeah, I think a great with me son, life is never a bit of roses. And life is really a journey of ups and downs. And what I like to tell myself, especially uh, in times when I feel sad, is to firstly, I try to acknowledge my feelings. Um, don't brush off your feelings because I think everyone's feelings is really, um, you should accept your feelings. 
and be aware of them. But I think what's more important is how we continue from that. So I really believe in having important uh, coping mechanisms, healthy coping mechanisms. So for different people, it's different. People might like to uh, walk their pet, uh, take an ice bath. Uh, for me, I like to talk to someone, someone like I, my friends or my family. And uh, I think take a uh, run around the park or have an indulgent piece of chocolate once in a while. <laughs> yeah, I think that really helps me to um, feel better. And after um, coping with it, I think it's important to really ask myself um, how I can move on from here. I like to tell myself that yeah, life is a journey and my failures do not define me. Um, in fact, I like to think of, of failures or perhaps the tough times as something that I can work on and something that I can improve myself and I really take it as a lesson every mm. single time. And I, I hope people really actually take it uh, this way instead of um, yeah, taking failure as what it is. Because um, I, for me, I feel that failure is truly a failure when uh, in that situation we didn't give our best or uh, we gave up Yeah, when we could have done something yeah. else. So I think don't give up, but look forward. The future is bright. And you never truly know unless you try. Ah, well, firstly, I, I just want to say thank you so much, Mama and Papa. If you're watching this, I think my parents have played such a huge role in my career and in my journey as a person. I think my parents have always been so supportive from day one. And I think parents out there, they actually play such a key role in their child's life. And many parents may not know it, but uh, every little thing that you say, every um, encouraging and positive word you say, it means so much to a child. And I think I'm so grateful for my parents for always being there with me. So in secondary school, I shared with my parents that I wanted to pursue nursing in polytechnic. And I'm so grateful that my parents have been really understanding. And they even actually sent me um, success stories of nurses into the WhatsApp family chat. Wow. And really to inspire wow. me to um, really work hard uh, because I was struggling with math and sciences and some of my academics. Oh. So it really uh, yes. just encouraged me to do my best and to really strive and do my best. And I think my parents have always taught me the values of hard work and um, uh, and a positive life approach and I think that has really shaped me into who I am today yeah and I think at the end of the day knowing that my parents are there for me not just in times not just in celebratory times but also in times where it's difficult knowing that I have people to run back to people I can um, ask if I have any questions or any difficulties I really think that that has um, helped me so much in my journey and I really couldn't have done it without my parents, my two sisters and yeah, my friends oh. and my lecturers and my teachers, yeah. I think I would say keep an open mind and really keep your options open and try because if you never try, you really never know. And I think I would like to emphasize at the end of the day that um, just because you don't do well in a particular subject or in your academics in general, it doesn't define you. Your grades never ever define you. You're worth so much more than your grades and you are a person in yourself. You have passions, you have interests, you have joy and do what makes you happy. But I think at the same time, although um, grades are not everything, do try to do your best in what you're given. Uh, because this will help to give you more options at the end of the day and it will really um, just be open-minded, explore your interests and um, celebrate every small milestone out there. Um, you might think that um, it's just a small thing but I think it's important to celebrate it because life, um, uh, yeah, we should be happy in life and yeah, every small milestone counts and it, we don't have to just celebrate the big successes in life. It's great but the small ones count too. So, yeah, I hope that spoke to someone out there and really brightened your day too. You're doing great. <laughs> okay, wonderful. And I think with that, we'll just wave a good night to all our parents. Thank you everyone for joining us. And with Thank all you. our love, we wish you and your children the very best. Thank you. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Good night.